And the Mesa County Department of Human Services held a special event today to help people understand more about elderly abuse and neglect in our community. Our Kyra Isaacs took a closer look at ways we can protect older community members. So many elderly individuals in our community depend on others for care and safety, and that makes them prime targets for mistreatment. Adult protection is my passion. I really um, firmly believe that this is a necessary service to the individuals in our community. Candace McGuire, Program Director of Mesa County Protective Services, says the Purple Ribbon Ceremony aims to reduce abuse and neglect. In 2021, residents reported more than 1,600 cases of elderly abuse, neglect, and exploitation. This is just another way of getting the information out to the community that we are here and we are willing to be of assistance. Kirsten Barnard, lead supervisor for Adult Protection Services, says the county is changing the way it responds to elderly abuse. One way is completing thorough background checks on individuals who provide in-home services. And I think we do a lot of great work um, to help amplify their voices and support them and advocate for what they want and what they need. The purple ribbons tied around these trees symbolize the national elder abuse crisis. But Joe Kellerby, a child protection manager, says the conversation won't stop here. At-risk adult citizens here in Mesa County, um, they, they need help at times, and they need help uh, with protection of their own safety. They need help protecting of their finances. Some elderly residents feel embarrassed to reach out for help. Be sure to watch out for those in our community, and when they need it, contact Mesa County's Department of Human Services. Reporting first on the Western Slope, I'm Kyra Isaacs, KREX 5 News. For information on reporting suspected adult abuse or neglect, visit westernslopenow.com.